Join us as we take a family vacation to Southern Utah. We're doing some more traveling. We're out here on vacation. We are headed to Utah. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and also just document our vacation for ourselves personally. So we flew into Vegas last night and it, basically we got to bed around 4 a.m. Florida time, but there's like a three hour time change. Is it like a four and a half hour flight plus sitting there, you know, and Harbor definitely fought the sleep, but we are here, that's what matters. Dallas and Erica are also here. She's my sister and we're gonna be going to the St. George area. We're gonna be doing some exploring and hopefully just enjoying a week of vacation here. So come along. Stop of the day. Oh, Harper! So we made it to the Airbnb. Kind of feeling our way around here. Got full size bunk beds here. The kids are pretty excited about this. So our family is staying upstairs. There's three rooms, so I have a room for Harper, and then a room for Nick and I, and then the other three are in the other room. Here's a bathroom. Okay, nice shower, closet, Here's another bathroom. So we got settled in that night, went to eat dinner, and just had a good relaxing evening. The next day, the men had golf scheduled for the afternoon. So Nick is gonna be filming a little bit just to show you guys around. This is at Wolf Creek Canyon or Wolf Creek Golf Resort, I think it's called. Good ball, Nick. Man, that's a good feeling. You can get big trouble. What do you think, Jax? insane. This is a whole one behind us. Let's play that. That was just birdied. Let's go. Let's go. So we are out and about finally and it feels very kind of messed up on time because of the time change. We're two hours behind here, but we're right on the line. So Erica and I have the girls. So we're out looking for some lunch. We're very undecided. We're staying in St. George. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we're in the historic section and we're gonna either do a Bear Pop Cafe or a Kairos, which is a Greek style restaurant. So we'll find something to eat.
we are here at Jenny's Canyon and it's literally just breathtaking. We're not sure, this one says it's a really short hike and hopefully so because I don't even have the carrier. I mean, I can put the carrier on my back, but I'd prefer not to bother with it. It's just like something easy for us to do, but I think we're gonna bring the men back here. <laughs> Call a slot canyon. Unbelievable. I have never experienced anything like this. We're gonna need to bring the men back here for sure, which I'm guessing tomorrow at Zion we'll see some <laughs> amazing stuff too. Okay, oh we're here. Over here. What do you think? Mmm. Oakland wanted a strawberry shake and they were out. So she's got a vanilla. Is it pretty good? So Friday morning, bright and early, we left St. George and drove to Zion National Park, which is I think around an hour or so. We parked in Springdale, which is just south of the park entrance, and took the shuttle into the park, which was actually within walking distance. We could have just walked, but we got right in, hopped on another shuttle, and took the shuttle all the way to the end of the park. It's about a 40 minute drive or so to the end and did the river walk hike. We gotta get warmed up. You gonna jump? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> oh, we borrowed a carrier from my friend Risa. <laughs> We're really hiking. So far, our feet haven't left the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not that much nicer, you know, than angels landing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, you know, it's. Um, I doubt it's that. We have a brain for Thank you. 
Oh, you say herbs? Where are you going? Where are you say, are we? Yeah. You enjoying it so far? What are these? You're more excited about the food? What are these? Oh, those are fruit and grain bars. <laughs> That big toe is not going to work down <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> what? There we go. This is a cool spot. You good? Mm -hmm. We should get out some oranges. Alright, what are we doing? Going to Zion. Mm -hmm. No, we're marching <laughs> to Zion. Marching, uh, out, marching of Zion. out of Zion. <laughs> We're better hikers than we thought. We're in better shape we than we thought we were. <laughs> Surprise ourselves. And uh, now we're headed up to Bryce Canyon. We were going to do that on Sunday. Maybe. Yeah, maybe do that on Sunday, but we're thinking if we can uh, get that in today yet, we'd have an extra day of vacation. So we feel like we're... It's a win-win situation. Making we're good time. Fueled yeah. up, ready to fueled go. Fueled up, ready to go. Got our four shots of espresso, and yeah. we're ready for the winding road. Is that what that was? <laughs> four shots. Four Ooh. shots. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I remembered how <clears throat> many kids we have, and I said, make it four. <laughs> <laughs> One for each of them. Coming no. to you live from the very back, I guess, of, of Bryce Canyon National Park. No, not here. We are at Rainbow Point, back in the wilderness of Bryce Canyon. Those are the hoodoos, which apparently Bryce Canyon is known for. What do you have, Owie? Uh, no. Snow. No. At least touch it. Build a little snowman. Fireball. Hey. Yeah. Here we go, guys. We've arrived. <laughs> ones of the group are very tired of it <laughs> so we're gonna make the drive back to st george now feels like you can see half of utah i know it's so hard to get on camera i know everyone knows that but Dude, like the depth is, so is not far. there we're mostly just driving around since we're doing both of the parks there's just little pull-offs basically which is nice for a family with young kids so you don't have to hike so far back in to get to the scenery i like it Ball Dallas.
are over here at the Sand Hollow Golf and Resort. The guys are just finishing up playing. They've played two different golf courses today. It's Saturday. We're gonna eat dinner here at the grill and they said we can watch them, maybe, finish up on hole 18. So we're gonna go see if we can find them. There's the restaurant. Make yourself at home, lady. What are you doing? Coming right out there, I think. Better hit a good shot here. Ooh, that's a bit far for bird. That's a good one. That's about like. I think he could. He, if he can make this for birdie, I'll oh yeah, this would be for birdie. Yeah. Going, 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 going. <gasps> oh. oh. Trying to make our way to the path. At least it's not like super sunny out right now. That really helps. It's pretty much cloud covered. <laughs> what do you say about the gold? It's freezing. Is it? <laughs> yeah, there's one that's good. It's spotted. Oh, good. All right, so we're gonna keep going up. There's another one further up. <laughs> Some are more adventurous than others. Dallas went way up there. I think they hike around where they're coming down there. Nick went up now, I'm not sure. I think he just wanted to see from the other side there. Some of the kids are wet. Harper kind of got a little wet. I wasn't necessarily thinking she'd get wet, but she did a little bit. I do have extra clothes along, so. She's having a snack right now. What, Caden? He's up there by the other water pool. Dad is, I think, up there somewhere. Alright, alright. We are out of the house again. Ooh, it's very bright. We came home. We're all pretty tired from the hike this morning. I'd say it was definitely more strenuous than the one we did at Zion. It was so gorgeous. Uh, we're gonna take them, the men, over to Jenny's Canyon again that Eric and I and the girls have gone to. So it is Sunday evening at this point. Here we are again. Hey, <laughs> 
Good job. And yet I'm out of breath. quiet mainly because the men actually went to play another round of golf this morning and they loved a sand hollow so much the place where we ate at the other night they loved it so much they just said it was just unbelievable and um, Nick ended up actually playing his like maybe second to best round ever so they left at like 5 30 because they had a tea time at 6 30 so they took the boys with them and the girls are still sleeping which is great because a lot of mornings I feel like they've been up earlier and we have two honestly the time change has been a little it's there's two hours time time difference here uh, from home and so it's not been too bad but we wake up pretty early there's not room darkening blinds in our I heard something bedrooms but um, also it, it gets light pretty early and we're also night owls and we tend to go to bed pretty late so we're not getting like just a lot of sleep <laughs> it's been a really good week um this is actually dallas and erica's last day here they're leaving early in the morning so i'm not sure what we're gonna do it's actually kind of sprinkling a little bit right now which is the first day that it's rained while we're here but nick and i were just talking last night i feel like saint george is very under touristed i don't know if that's a phrase or a word but <laughs> But I feel like it's not like very well known maybe. Maybe we're just not familiar with it. But I don't often hear people talking about St. George in the fact of like going there for vacation. Uh, and it kind of just happened. Like we weren't going here because we thought, ooh, this looks like a good vacation destination necessarily. We had kind of scouted out the area, the golf courses. Nick was looking at a few places, him and Dallas wanted to play at and we were looking at houses like airbnbs to rent we found this one and we decided to come here we didn't do a whole lot of research about here we just knew that we could drive to zions bryce and it would be within distance to las vegas wouldn't be very far like an hour and a half you know for the airport and we just decided to come here and honestly it is such a beautiful area i would definitely recommend anyone coming here i feel like everywhere you look it's just so pretty <laughs> like it it's not just like a so we went to the tetons one one year and the tetons are gorgeous like we were in wyoming idaho area and there's nothing like the tetons believe me the teton mountain range and we went to yellowstone but honestly yellowstone does not even compare to zion in my opinion it's it's nice in its own way but it was definitely not as like awe-inspiring as Zion was and stuff like that so all that to say the Tetons are more like there's this one range of mountains and that's it and here it's just like you have all kinds of like I think it's the red rocks that are just make it so like amazing <laughs> we've really been enjoying it and I will try to ride out the places that we went to if there are links to things I'll try to put them down here but yeah, I feel like it's a very good area to come to if you're wanting to see Southern Utah. Obviously, Northern Utah has amazing places too. Arches National Park and all that, but it's it's just too far for us to do it all this trip. So anyway, just thought I'd give a little recap so far, and I'm not sure what we're doing the rest of the day today. Maybe not much, but if there's something interesting, I'll show it to you guys. I feel like <laughs> I've shown so much scenery. I'm not even sure if anyone's going to be watching at this point, but... I wanted it for our memories. I'm gonna drink my coffee. I may need to get a <laughs> refresh because I've been talking so much, but anyway. <laughs>
sure about that. So Dallas has left this morning and we've been wanting to come to this crepery place all week. We never actually got around to it, so it's called Tiffany's Crepery. Breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> so, here's my dress I got today at that Down East store. They have like dresses and different things like that, so I got one of them. Today was mostly just a chill day. Uh, we were here quite a bit. I did do, you know, a little bit of shopping there as I showed, but not very much. And we went to Red Robin for dinner tonight, and now I'm kind of gonna see if I can pack up anything more. We have to leave in the morning, probably 10, 10.30 or so. And then the bad side of it is that we have to while away the whole day until midnight tomorrow night when our flight leaves. But yeah, it's been a very, very good trip, and I am ready to get home. I feel like it's been long enough. It's been about right. It's been a whirlwind of a couple weeks, that is for sure. We've been going, 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 and ready to get home and get into some normal routine for a little bit and then we'll go up to see Kara's baby. <laughs> I don't even think I told you guys this but my, well some of you on Instagram saw this but my sister Kara actually had her little boy so I had updated you all in the South Carolina video. Um, she had him then at I think 32 weeks and one day uh, and so he's been in the NICU now for, what is it, going on two weeks or something? I gonna be another couple weeks before um, he's out. So yeah, baby Cohen Briggs is here and I got to see him just a little bit. I went over there for the day when I was in Indiana. I drove to Ohio and flew home from there. And so I got to see him and yeah, so we'll, we'll be making a trip up north here in the next month sometime for sure. Thank you guys for tagging along and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.